Costa Rica is one of my favorite countries in the world. I love the never-ending activities, gorgeous beaches, a plethora of wildlife, delicious food, and friendly people. The country may be firmly on the tourist trail and expensive by regional standards but that doesn't make this country any less amazing. The beaches feel like paradise, there's great surfing, diving, and plenty of places to get away from the hordes of retired Americans that live here. There is always a quiet spot to be found if you look. Moreover, the local food uses a variety of spices and flavors that excite your mouth. I really can't say enough good things about this country. It's a place I happily revisit often. Top Things to See and Do in Costa Rica Tortuguero National Park This park on the Caribbean coast is regarded as one of the most important breeding grounds for the endangered green turtle. It also helps to protect manatees, sloths and various species of monkey. Visit at night to catch the turtles laying their eggs on the beach. It's very out of the way and hard to get to and there isn't much there but if you like jungles, birds, and quiet, this is a must-see. Coffee Plantations Costa Rican coffee is famous all over the world. By taking one of the coffee plantation tours you can see every step of the refining process and get the chance to buy discounted coffee in the gift shops. I hate the taste of coffee but the kind I had in Monteverde tasted like chocolate. I bought bags home to drink, it's that good. Prices vary but expect to pay at least 14,000 CRC for a tour. San Jose, A, Costa Rica's capital is located in the center of the country making it a great hub. Overall, the city only requires a few days. It's sort of gritty and there's not a whole lot to do. Visit the Museum of Contemporary Art and Design to check out the future of Costa Rican art, the magnificent Teatro Nacional to take in its decor, and the History Museum located in the town center too. Zip through the rainforest canopy, the highest 10% of a rainforest is where most activity takes place. By going on a zip line tour, you can have a hair-raising close view of these vast forests. There are dozens of companies offering tours throughout the country, though Monteverde is my favorite place to do it. Expect to pay around 30,000 CRC. Puerto Viejo, located on the Caribbean coast, this city is popular with expats and backpackers because of its great beaches, surf, and party atmosphere. The town is very lively, and you'll find something going on every night. For those looking for a quieter place, there are many tranquil beach hotels around. It is one of my favorite towns in the country because its Rasta influence makes it very different than the rest of Costa Rica. Yaco Yaco was once a sleepy resort town whose main attraction was its excellent surfing, but growing tourism has transformed it into a haven of beach parties and pumping nightclubs. Surf lessons and rentals are widely available on the beaches and sport fishing is also popular here. For a more sedate affair, head to the nearby Carrer Biological Reserve to spot scarlet macaws, armadillos and hundreds of species of bird. Learn some Spanish. Costa Rica is one of the most popular Latin countries for learning Spanish due to the country's easy to understand dialect. Programs vary in length and cost but most offer the opportunity to do a homestay with a Costa Rican family. La Paz Waterfall Gardens Aside from the famous waterfalls, La Paz also includes an aviary, hummingbird garden, butterfly garden, reptiles, big cats and more. The gardens are the most popular tour from San Jose have recently been restored, 